Hi, Dan here from Weiss North America, and today we're going to be talking about how to properly mount a tool plate on a Weiss TC indexer. You can access this and other Weiss videos all in one place at myweissna.com by creating your free account. The first step is to identify your mounting holes. On a TC220, you have six M8 mounting holes threaded, and you have two holes for your dowel pins. They are six millimeter dowel holes. You can see on your, mount, on your tool plate that you have your six countersunk holes for your M8 bolts and you have your dowel pin holes for six millimeter dowels. I like to mount them using tapered rods to help me locate the holes. and then lower the plate onto the indexing table using the rods to help find the holes. You want to start by slightly installing your doll dowels one third of the way. so that they slightly engage into the indexer. And then you can put your M8 bolts in and slightly tighten them. Now that your screw, your M8 screws are slightly tight, you can finish installing your dowel pins. So they're flush with the top of your table. And then you can take a torque wrench for an M8 bolt. The standard is 34 Newton meters and you want to tighten them in a star pattern. It is important to note that this is a stationary center post and does not rotate. This dial plate does rotate. So you need to ensure proper clearance between the two. This is an example of an acceptable clearance level. The absolute minimum would be one millimeter. Once you ensure that you have proper clearance, it is a good idea once your machine is finished to protect this gap from fluid and debris. I hope that we've answered any questions that you may have had, but feel free to reach out to us if you have any further questions, comments, or concerns, and remember to visit myweissna.com to create your free account and get 24-7 access to videos like this and tons of other resources to help you create a perfect automation solution.